Long story short, I had way too much coffee, decided to play Binding of Isaac, and found some cool power-ups, so here we go. At least what I think are cool power-ups, because I can shoot all the way over there pretty quickly and doing a lot of damage, so this should be easy. In fact, I'm doing so good for once that look at all these hearts. This is only the third dungeon, by the way, so far, so I'm being very confident so far, it's not gonna last. But rooms like this are gonna be easy for me, because I can hit these things some way far away, and the further away things are, the easier it is for me. Normally I'm a toucher, but in this game, things gotta stay way far away. And uh, rooms like this are a little bit stressful so far, mostly because I don't really remember what any of these enemies do, but I'm making do so far. Those extra hearts give me just a little bit of extra confidence. This is the first choice I've had to make, either the card or the pill. I think I'm probably gonna go for the pill because, uh, you know, something, maybe the card. This seems a bit of a breather. Again, I'm doing enough damage now that I can just kind of sit far away and hurt things and I don't have to stress that badly about damage. This would all be really easy if I actually knew what the enemies did, but I don't. I'm guessing and just reacting to things as they come. But as long as I can keep my distance from things, I'll be fine. Another choice, is it worth opening that chest? I think it's gonna hurt me if I do it. I do have some bombs, let's go for it. Hopefully this works, uh-huh, and whoops, uh, yeah, that's... Not at all what I meant to do, but great. That works too, I guess. How do I open stuff? Oh, okay. Just walk right into it. Worth the sacrifice. I can already hear the comments telling me all the things I'm doing wrong. Is this even fair? Those guys are trapped in an island and I can hit them from 10 miles away. I like this room the best so far. Hey, except for the part where the coins spawn out there and I can't reach them. Okay, I will take that and I will take that. Pretty sure I'll be able to deal with this without too much issue. They can only fire. Yeah, okay, this is easier than I thought. Oh, never mind. There's a second wave. See, that's what I mean. Like, I don't know what to expect. I'm pretty sure these guys, like, once they're dead, you gotta kill their corpse, too. So, yep, this is gonna be a little bit difficult. Well, we'll take them one at a time, then. Maybe not so bad. Round and round we go. And a third wave of enemies, but I'm pretty sure I know what these do. They just charge in a straight line as soon as they lock onto you. And uh, I do enough damage, I can stop that. I need to remember these rooms that there's, like, five waves of enemies. Give me that pill. I can't remember how to take these. This room was annoyingly hard. I definitely took some damage I didn't want to. We should always go in a sacrifice room. It's always worth the sacrifice. For a card, may nothing stand before you. Well, absolutely. Except for spiky doors. And we could buy that for 15 cents. How much money do we have? We only have 10. So we'll buy an extra heart for now because the boss isn't going to be very easy. But boy, is it pretty. Can I just do this the whole time? Oh, that was close. I don't really remember what any of these do. But again, I'm just going to keep my distance and hope for the best. It's actually only a couple more hits. My tears are also quite big, as you can tell, so it's easy to hit things. I don't have to be that careful with aiming. It's already dead. I'm feeling good. What does a lipstick do? Range up? I don't need any more range. Like, they're already going clear across the room. And, uh, what is this room? Oh, this looks like fun. I want this one. Oh, do I get all of these? Oh, okay. Can I have this, though? You feel cursed. Oh. Hey, good. Not sure I wanted that, but I've got it now. So apparently this cursed card stuck to my head means I drop bombs every time I get hit. So, this not really gonna go well from here on out. But you know what? I'm gonna try and keep my hearts up and we'll do our best. Already there's a sacrifice room. Let's do it. Did that heal me? I forgot about the whole bomb dropping thing already too, so that was kind of stupid of me. Don't think I want that because I don't know what it does and those are just gonna blow up. Mm, not gonna take that chest either because too much damage. Isaac versus pride. Well, we can't have any pride, can we? Oh, don't touch that. Oh, there's the bomb spawning. Okay. That actually worked to my favor somehow. They blew it up. I figured the bombs would spawn on me. If they spawn randomly, I kind of like that. They're going to blow up all sorts of rocks all over the place. Ooh, a death card. That bomb curse thing might actually be really good for the boss. Because I'm going to get hit a lot during boss fights. And if bombs are randomly... Whoa, okay, don't touch the red one. Whoops. Oh, no. Yeah, that's going to be helpful for a lot of rooms. Detrimental sometimes, but I just got to be really careful not to touch bombs. More enemies I haven't seen yet that drop giant poison bombs. Again, I can just stay at a safe distance and observe them. Or kill them. You know, same thing. And the big rooms that are my specialty. Alright, you guys just stay way, way over there. And I'm just going to kite you in circles until you're all dead. I think we got a clear path established, so we're good. It's going to take a while to defeat all these, but you know what? We'll get through this together, guys. Don't you worry. I think I finally got them about where I want them. That did take a minute, but you know what? That's okay. We got our patience today. Every time I rush these games, I end up dying. Now, apparently my card, 8 Death, does 40 damage to all enemies in the room when I want to use it. And more of these little things. Oh, this room isn't going to be a lot of fun. I can already tell. But you know what? I feel like my damage is high enough that I can do this reasonably well. Just don't lose focus. Losing hearts, actually, so I need to be a little bit more careful with what I'm doing. We all know that's not going to happen. I don't like this room already because there, that's a lot of spiders, and... They're very hard to avoid. I'm not actually trying to avoid anything now, really. I'm just running and hoping for the best. Uh-oh, that's a big bomb. Get away. Oh, bombs hurt them way more than they hurt me. Interesting. Those bombs are actually going to save me more than they're going to help me. More than they're going to hurt me. Anyways, can I have a new item? What does this one do? It's a mystery. Not for long, it's not. Oh, it's one of the chargeable items. Upon use gives a random spacebar effect. 
So we'll try that on the boss. I'm assuming it's going to be something that's good for me, but it might be something that's bad for me. I'm not actually sure. To be fair, a lot of things that are good for me, I turn into a way to be bad for me anyway. So we'll just see how this goes. Gertie. Didn't we just defeat Gertie? Will Gertie have this? And also this. I'm not sure what that's going to do, but I'm now a bat. Oh, I have some bombs, by the way. We're going to have a lot of those in this fight. I could already tell. No, we're almost done already. Am I supposed to destroy these? What am I supposed to be doing right now? Ow. I'm not paying enough attention. Okay. My whole bat thing is distracting me. Well, okay. That's done now. Not really sure what was happening there, but I look like this. It's fun playing a game again when I have no idea what anything's doing. HP and luck up. I like both of those things a lot. Dungeon number five. Boss is on eight. We're doing good. But you know what? It's one of those games where any room could really ruin me. Because I don't know what anything does. But so far, so good. Whoops. Okay, I don't even know what hit me there. I wasn't looking. Mystery gift. Okay. Oh. So, also that. But thanks. Good. I just realized I'm actually out of my armored hearts. I started with a million of those things. And I was just playing too confidently because I had too many of them. That's my problem. I need to be at the verge of dying at all times. That way I'm actually careful for once. But asking me to be careful probably just isn't ever going to happen. Do I have to hit these from behind? I don't know how to do that. I'm not good enough. Well, now we got some bombs in the mix. Mr. Mega has appeared in the basement. Is that for my new luck thing? Oh, luck, a new heart. Oh, don't touch me. I'm noticing a lot more random effects this time around, and I wonder if that is because of my new luck, which would be great. Spiders are my least favorite enemies. I don't even know if these are spiders, but they're my least favorite, because every time I'm in a room with them, I notice I take a lot of damage. Okay, I need an upgrade. Give me something good. Is this good? We're going to find out. Don't have any bombs? Oh, yeah, it's the other button. Keep thinking undermine. Give me this. Follows my every move. So it does follow my every move. It's three seconds behind me and anything it touches, it hurts. So that's easy. It's some kind of damage that I don't have to actually control. It does it all by itself. Which might be good for rooms like this. I've never seen these big guys before. They're like meatballs. Meatballs with bones. That turn into smaller meatballs. That then explode into nothingness. Am I missing something here? Why is this room so easy? Am I not supposed to step into blood? Okay, I guess I won't complain. Whoa, did not expect that. Okay, this room is going to be a little bit harder than the last one was. Hey, can my little purple thing start doing some damage, please? Okay, it's okay. We're getting ahead of things now. Well, this room would be bad, but my little purple thing is actually going to help me out a lot because it's going to follow me right around the edge where all the idiots are going to be kited to, hopefully. And eventually, we'll start killing these permanently. Do we think a sacrifice room is worth it right now? I'm going to explore a little bit more before we know because I want to see how much uh, health I'm actually going to leave the dungeon with before I commit to taking any more damage. Do my tears count if they're going off screen? Like, am I hurting things down there at all? I'm going to assume I am, but probably not. That's another sword room full of lots of strong enemies. Unlike this one, which had a very weak enemy in it. Should I risk that for an upgrade? I don't know. I don't have a lot of health right now. Maybe I'll go do the sacrifice room first. I'll get rid of some health and then we'll see what we're at. This will obviously be worth it. Oh, three armored hearts. Oh, did that hit me? Okay, but we got two armored hearts, I guess, out of that. And more bombs. So we got to lose half a heart on the way out. Was that worth it? Yeah, sure it was. All right, another big room. I like these, especially with slow-moving enemies, because I can just sit way up here and just, you know, not really try that hard. So what is that, by the way? Like a bomb chest? Do I need to bomb that open? I don't know if I want to sacrifice any more health, though. These rooms are getting harder and harder. That sounds like a decision for after the boss. Loki. Interesting. Okay, Loki, I'm going to have a random power now. I am a unicorn now that can't seem to attack. Do I touch things? I don't get how this works. Oh, that did hurt him. Okay, cool. But my unicorn power wore out. Very confusing when you have a random power for a boss. I had no idea what to do there. And here come the bombs that blew up a lot of rocks. I think we're okay. okay I need to actually start hitting this guy because I'm doing a lot of damage to him when I hit him. I just, I'm missing a lot. Just a couple more hits now and we'll be good. Okay, you just die now. This is actually a pretty easy boss overall. Whoa, till that happened. Okay, stop. There it is. And another syringe. Don't I have one of those? What's this one do? Speed and shot speed up. That's better. Pretty soon we can have a machine gun that goes all the way across the map. Actually, it definitely already goes all the way across. I forgot about the combat room already. I totally would have gone in there, but I... We're just moving on then. That's fine. Why are my pupils so big? He looks so high. Let's just not question it. What does this do by... What, 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 what did that do? Hello? I don't... Does that just change my appearance? Cleans it up a little bit? Hopefully. Well, you know what? That's what I get for touching stuff. Damage and range to the rescue. Because I can see this room being fairly hard without this stuff. Well, I've got nine bombs. So I might as well start using these. And what do we get? What is this? I remember these. A cartridge. And more bats. Hopefully I can kill these. Oh, there's not really good root here. Well, enjoy your bombs, idiots. That was your fault. What's up with the fat one? 
Is he gonna explode? I bet he's gonna explode, because he seems way too easy to kill. You explode up there. Nowhere near me. Stay. Stay. Wow, I'm good at this. Oh, I thought it was gonna blow up. He was just really slow. I already don't love this room for reasons that should be obvious, but you know what? Everything blew up all at once there, so we're okay. What is this thing? Stop following me. I see now. Now that things have slowed down, it just goes around the rocks on the inside. It can't seem to detach itself from that. I don't like this room at all. I don't like this room one bit. How do I get out? Oh, I gotta hit the switches. Okay, I get it. Stop. Okay. I was really worried I was actually going to die there. I had no idea what to do with a bunch of moving spikes. I just panicked. I am managing to keep up enough keys to get these upgrades. Damage resistance. I like damage resistance a whole lot. Pretty self-explanatory, that one. I take less damage now. Uh, ghosts? Oh, okay. This is not going to be a lot of fun, I think. Yeah, this is going to be stressful. And now we have bombs everywhere. Okay, give me one of these. And, uh, okay. Okay, we got one of the ghosts dead. Oh, we actually have both of them dead. I don't know if that was the bombs or me, but they're gone now. Um, I did lose a lot of hearts in that, so that wasn't fun. I just want more power-ups. Okay, more of the moving rocks. And ghosts. You want to go into sacrifice room? Yeah, let's do it. In hindsight, I kind of really regret that because I didn't realize how low my health actually was. And now we got invisible guys, but you know what? I think we're fine. Yep, we're just fine. The chest is going to give me a bomb. And what do you think this does? Oh, good. More enemies. I don't mind this at all because these guys don't seem very strong. And hopefully they'll drop something for me. Oh, never mind. I got hit. Back through the spiky doors. Not sure that was worth it, but we got a heart in this room. So yeah, we'll be all right. This is the first one of these rooms I've seen. Luckily, my movement speed is pretty high, so I can just zoom on past those right into this room. Uh, there's a ladder down here. I don't know if I want to take that because I don't know where that's actually going to take me. We'll think about that for a second. Uh, okay, yeah, we might have to take that because I'm taking damage from everything suddenly. Why do I look like this? What did I do? Oh, hey, there's a thing. Give me that. Immortal friend. Trust me, if you're my friend, you don't want to be immortal. But what he does is follows me around and actually blocks damage for me. And he can activate some damage himself if he wants to. We're going to explore the rest of the floor before I climb down that ladder. And I'm going to stop walking into things. And you know what? On second thought, we're going to go straight down this ladder now because I'm not dealing with bomb room back there. Oh, interesting. I don't, I don't know what to do here. Do I just kill everything? What if things kill me? Can I kill you? I'm very confused about this. What are you? Do I just pick you up? Oh, I see a friendly fly. The fly seems to orbit me. And that's okay, because I like things orbiting me. I wonder if I can just run through that room if I time it right. The spikes go away? They do. I could probably run through this. Okay, ready? Spikes go... Oh, okay. I didn't... Yep. Good enough for me. Well, now that I'm armed with a whole bunch of new followers, we hopefully have an easier time of dealing with rooms like this. Oh, that guy blows up. This room came with a chest, which has this in it. It calls out to its brothers. That replaced my cartridge, which I never actually used, so I don't know what that does. Uh, oh, keys auto-use. I need to remember that. All right, we're going to plant the bomb here to get through all that, because we've got tons of bombs. I want that healing and maybe the pill. Well, we're going to keep the two hearts. I don't know what it does. I don't really care. We'll figure it out on the fly. We're going to sacrifice a bomb for another key, because I have way more bombs than keys. There's seriously still bombs left in this room. Okay, can we get through this? Nope, we sure can't. Well, we lost half a heart there. Anyways, boss fight time. We're gonna fight mom. And you know what? I'm optimistic about this because she already just lost a bunch of health somehow. What am I supposed to be doing here? I can't remember. Fighting these? Just hitting whatever I can. I get it. Yeah, eyeballs. That works. Okay, so far so good. I don't know what my spacebar power is or was, but uh, whatever. We're doing enough damage. I think we'll get through this. Woo, don't touch that. Oh, good. The bombs are out. Just what I wanted. Clear up some space for me, though. That actually helped. Those rocks were kind of detrimental to my success. Can I get mom itself? Herself? Uh, I'm having a little bit of trouble telling which flies are friends and which ones are enemies currently. I am glad I can hit things from so far away right now. I gotta remember to focus on the eyes. I'm shooting kind of anything but those. Can the eyes die now? I think I'm almost done. This is way easier than I thought it would be. Oh, don't touch the bombs. Okay, you're dead. Uh, okay, I gotta watch my health now. I am starting to get kind of low and this isn't helping. Actually, it kind of is. Uh, do we do it? Give me this. Damage up. Just what I always wanted. More damage. And they got horns now. So more damage than ever before. Faster than ever before. And uh, I guess we'll just kind of jump into this thing now. So this is stage seven. Womb one. Never been here before. Gotta watch my health. Don't have a ton of that to spare. So anything in here? Could you just die fairly quickly without hurting me? First room complete. Got an extra heart out of the deal. Didn't lose any. This room, I might lose some because I don't know what these things are or how they work or what they do. But as long as things are following me around, actually, I'm pretty capable of defeating them, believe it or not. See? 
Easy. But every room is a new surprise. Not going to sacrifice the hearts for that yet unless I get a whole bunch. Because I have a feeling this uh, whole dungeon is going to be pretty hard for me. What is that? Okay, cool. That room died. Not complaining. Don't care. This room was a mess just because of the bombs. And mm, yep, here we go again. Oh, and it hits me. Of course it does. Nothing else in here is particularly dangerous. Just the bombs. So, yeah, we'll get through this together. Don't worry. Now I gotta... Oh, these hurt? What? I didn't know that. Oh, that's not even fair. I didn't know you couldn't touch those. No one told me. That's not fair. We're right back to where we started. We're even worse than where we started because we got two and a half hearts to live by. And uh, we could lose those very quickly, as we've already seen. All right, the final thing left in that room was that thing. Oh, yeah, don't touch those. I forgot again. Oh, no. Mm. I just can't get away from those bombs. No matter where I go, they find their way to me. I would not say no to some health at this point. I don't know if these things can even spawn anything right now, but I'm going to try. Got to find something, anything. Does my spacebar power work? Nope, I just use it up probably for nothing. Okay, at least these things are easy to kill. They might give me a heart or something back. Maybe two, maybe three, you know? Not asking for much, just all my health back would be great. One heart. I will very much take that. I guess I do have some bombs to spare, so I might as well start blowing up rocks, hoping for stuff out of those. And there we go. Big money. Not a thing. On to my next nightmare room. Hey, come on, guys. Down here, we're gonna... Uh, wow, I can't believe none of those hit me. I thought for sure I was actually gonna take a lot of damage there. Okay, well, you know what? This room isn't so bad after all. The big rooms are easy. No matter what's in them, like, they're fine. The small rooms are the ones that get me. Kinda like this one. Like, oh, okay, good. Now I'm gonna take bomb damage and damage from everything else. Can I make these bombs go off in, like, a nicer arrangement? That kind of works, actually, because then, yeah, those will blow up and won't touch anything else. Sacrifice room... probably not. Another little room? What do we got? Okay. Did not see any of this coming. Okay, gonna hide in the corner for a bit, and I think we're okay. Cool. Please give me some healing. Okay, we got some. All sorts of pills to choose from in this room. Um... We do have bombs to spare, so we can pick at least one of these up, and I like the look of this one the best, so we're gonna take this one. Oh, and I got some healing from the rocks. I gotta blow up more rocks here. That rock blew up with damage stuff. Anyways, just moving on confidently. Okay, you guys can go over there then and come over to this side and up this side and I think we'll have this beat. I don't like this room either. I don't like any of these rooms. They're all very hard. Okay, uh, yep, I walked right into that. I think I walked into two things there. There's a bomb in the corner, like always. Hey, we found the boss room though, so we'll at least get to fight the boss on this floor. I think I'm gonna continue blowing up stuff in this room because every time I do, I seem to get like a gray heart or a red heart out of the deal. No. Oh, I got half a heart though. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, sacrifice a few bombs here to get my health back up again. These guys again. Don't these just blow up into smaller things? Oh, that's not good. Don't hit me, don't hit me. And it hit me. Gonna blow up some of these rocks. I assume they're kind of here for a reason. No, they're just existing for the sake of existing, apparently. A few bombs left. I'm going to use both of them. Just try and get some health. You know what? I'm going to save one bomb in case I need it for something. So on to the boss we go. I just realized how big my tears are. They're huge. Obviously, that's going to make the boss super easy to beat. Face bar power activated. And did I already get hit? What even hit me? Did I spawn into the boss? Because I feel like that's not fair. But look how much damage I did already. Whatever I'm doing is working. Okay, don't touch me, spiders. You're gonna unleash the bombs, and that's bad for everyone involved. Okay. Oh, healing. I like this boss fight. I think I'm healing more than I'm taking damage for the first time ever. Eight ball. Shot speed up. That's probably one of the better power-ups I could find. There's a billion power-ups, but you know what? I always like attack speed. Moving on. Right, I'm on the boss fight thing. I don't even know what this is gonna be. Utero 2. So, room to the right, bad. Room to the left, Probably something... I don't know what the arcade even is. I'm pretty confident this is something that could be helpful. I don't know what it is right now, and I'm way too lazy to look into it. I've got attack speed I've got to be using. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know what hit me. I do know what hit me. I just didn't see it coming, but we took care of that room pretty good. Okay, these eyeball things are pretty annoying to deal with. So I think as long as I'm moving, they can't really hit me, and at the same time, I can't hit them. Well, I got one. I hit one. Come on, we can do it. Healing? and healing perfect and big meatball little meatball dead meatball i do like this combination now that i'm used to it i've got lots of uh movement speed lots of attack speed and lots of attack range so as long as i'm kiting enemies around i'm okay this seems kind of interesting uh okay got it done and it has half a heart for me once i lose that which i am going to probably in this room if i was a gambling man a red door it just goes into one of those places 
I mean, I got lots of keys. I might as well go take a look at least. What does this do? Did I touch that? That looks dangerous. I did look into this before I'm going to touch it. It should just spawn something on the floor. Oh, okay, when I use it, it spawns something on the floor. I would rather have my mystery power-ups that always seem to do more damage than good. Sacrifice. So what do we got? What is this? Soul converter. Oh, it's another one of these. I like my mystery thing, though. I suspect there's more to this room than is letting on, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay, I get it now. I see the spikes on the minimap indicating spikes are important. There's... Well, let's just put it this way. You go like this, I get my health back. And I guess that was my reward for touching this. Like, oh, this room's not going to be fun. Oh, bombs, go. Do your magic. I'll just mm, hide over here. Wow, okay, I'm getting destroyed in this room. Yikes. Oh, that should kill everything. Okay, I think that's saying I can sacrifice hearts for coins, probably, which I don't want to do. I've got lots of money that I'm not even spending. Probably should get on that. Oh, this is kind of a bad spot to be in. We do have a lot of rocks to blow up. And I'm kind of realizing the different types of rocks right now. Like these ones in the middle maybe have a higher chance of giving me good stuff. Or they just give me nothing at all. And that's fine too. Okay, this room I don't like either. Oh, I see. He moves opposite me. But are my shots faster? Oh, I can walk him into it. Well, that makes those rooms a lot easier. Wish I realized that sooner. I just touched a weird spot on the wall and I found greed. Uh, so we're going to have to kill greed. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, though, considering, like, we're a little ways into the game. I'm kind of glad I found this, because I'm pretty sure we'll get some healing or reward for this. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Oh, here comes the bombs. Everyone hide. Nope, that worked. Okay, cool. We get a reward. 50% off. Steam sale. Where's all this stuff to buy, though? You know what? I don't need stuff anyway. We can just fight the boss. Mom's heart. Between my bombs and random effects, we'll be just fine. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be hitting first. We'll take care of the eyes because I know they're going to do a lot of damage to me. Wow, that's a lot of things coming out of stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, wow, okay. I think I got the eye taken care of. So as long as we're moving, I don't know if the eye can hurt me. Mm, here comes the bombs and I'm basically dead. Can we just hit the heart a lot? Hello, heart. We take damage. You take damage. Oh, come on. We got to do this. Do we do it? Oh, don't touch things. Get healing. Wow, do we actually survive that? I had no idea what was even happening. Give me that. Oh. Okay, we're in the chest now. Isaac is sad. This better be like the biggest reward ever. Or I'm gonna get locked in the chest and die. Right, was I supposed to keep going there? Eden. I would have preferred to keep going, but I probably should have looked into that. I'm a toucher. So we unlocked Eden. And let me know in the comments down below all the things I did wrong.